At this coal-fired power plant, carbon dioxide is captured, compressed, then piped out to this injection well, where it's shot more than three kilometers underground. Right underneath where we're standing is where CO2 is being stored. Yeah, that's correct, although it's way underneath there. Time-lapse photos show the liquefied gas spreading out through the rock. It's constantly monitored for one big unknown. Obviously, we do not want to um, cause any man-made earthquakes to happen. This is our real-time earthquake monitoring. That's what this BC researcher is studying, tracking storage sites in Western Canada. What kind of injection scenarios of carbon storage may actually increase the seismic risk? Cow says the risk will be higher in places near tectonic plate boundaries. His work on fracking-induced earthquakes propelled this research. When you do large-scale fluid injection into subsurface formations, the stress perturbation caused by all these injected fluids can be enormous. So far, there's been no major carbon injection-induced activity in Canada, but Cow says it's important for climate policymakers to know if it could happen. Fighting climate change is important, and by doing so, what kind of price do you want to pay? And can you accept this kind of risk? Nickel doubts CO2 injections could cause earthquakes, but he understands why the research needs to happen now. I think before it rolls out, understanding the, the stress fields and the, the factors that lead to uh, seismic activity would be important. Researchers say their focus is to use the findings to reduce or eliminate the risk of earthquakes. To ensure a technology Canada is betting big on to reduce its carbon footprint remains a safe and stable option. Julia Wong, CBC News, Estevan, Saskatchewan.